Hi everyone, for this video I'm going to show you how to get started and create your background. So the first thing you need to do is go into Google Slides and hit this plus sign for to create a blank presentation. And you know up here you can name it whatever you want. So once it loads here, you can click up here and title it. And I'll just go for example right now. You can get rid of the themes. Okay, so what I usually do is I go ahead and I delete all the text boxes that are on the slide. And you just click on it and hit delete. Maybe. There they go. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this. The easiest way you can do it is use pre-made backgrounds. And Mrs. Stevens included those in the email she sent out. So there's two different Google Slides that we sent out. One that's titled Virtual Classroom Resources and one that's titled... Um, room templates. Both have room templates. The virtual classroom resource are just towards the very bottom. If I can get there. Yeah, so here's some rooms right here. These rooms um, are just pretty much backgrounds. They have some that are put together, but mostly for the most, or <laughs> for the most part, they're all just blank backgrounds. So you can pick one of those. This document, the room templates, these are rooms that are already completely put together for you. So what I like about virtual classrooms is that you can put in as much or as little time in them as you want. You can take one of these, it's already pretty much done for you. Put your Bitmoji in, maybe put a link or two here or there, and you are ready to go. Or if you're a geek like me and you like to do this kind of stuff, then you can build yours from nothing up to something like this. So totally up to you, whatever you want to do. So if, say, I wanted to use this room template, all you have to do is either hit, make sure that it's highlighted in yellow, whichever slide that you want. You can either hit Command C and that will copy it, or you can hit Control Click. That's the same as doing that right click. And then you can hit Copy. If you go to your blank presentation that we started, you again can hit Command V, or you can hit Control Click and hit Paste. This, I'm just going to go match styles in the presentation. I usually just go ahead and you can delete out the blank slide you started with, but for this case, I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna show you how to create your own background too. So now this is here, I can go ahead and start adding my Bitmoji, links, whatever I wanna put in there. Now, if you wanna actually create a background on your own, there's a couple different things you can do. So say I, really like this floor from this one over here, but I hate that white background. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here. And do not link them. Now I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. All right, so I wanna get rid of that white brick. So all you have to do is go to insert image search the web and maybe i want a blue wall
I like that one. We're gonna take it and we can just drag and drop right in. Oh, unable to create some images. Let's see, that's really weird. We'll click on it and hit insert and see if it will take it. There we go. So then all you have to do is stretch this image out to fit over your white brick. And now I just changed my wall color and I would be okay to start adding all my little fixtures for my classroom. If you would like to create one and you don't see anything that you like in this, in the two resources that I've shared, you can go ahead and insert image, search the web, and you can type in wall and floor. And you'll see a lot of the ones that are actually in the templates. And there are some different ones, maybe some new ones that you can try out. I don't know about that one. Um, so some of the things you'll get are kind of entertaining. So maybe we'll try this one. Oof. Again, you just stretch it out to fit, and then you'd be okay to start adding whatever items you want. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and click it, delete, and then you can keep on with your search looking for something a little bit different. Again, if you find something that you like the floor, but you don't like the wall or whatever it might be, doesn't want to pick that picture um you can always change the wall color so don't always necessarily look for both things that you like look for something that you like and then you can go ahead and change it up a little bit later okay so say we're gonna go with one of these um there's nothing else you have to do background wise so this is it this is ready to go um, another option too, if you liked one of these classrooms that are already put in, you don't have to keep all the decorations that are here. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't like that chair. I don't like it. That's okay. You can always go in any of these templates that we have shared. You can delete everything in them. So it's really, I mean, you're... Your possibilities are endless, really, with these. You can do as much or as little, like I've been saying, with them. Um, so don't shy away from something because you're like, oh, I don't like that vase of flowers. Okay, not a big deal. We can get rid of those flowers. Okay? All right, so that's your basics for backgrounds. And the next thing we'll kind of get into is starting to add our furniture.